Hi friends, this title of the video is chosen not to attract the audience, as many bloggers are doing by showing allegedly banned technologies or devices. In this video, we will make a device which is truly banned in many countries. Its usage can cause problems with the law. You will ask, what is it? Look for the EMP jammer or slot jammer in Google and everything will become clear. This thing is so popular that wise Chinese even sell it. The device is claimed as a Tesla coil, costing from $10 to $15 for a bare device or from $100 to $130 in fully assembled condition with a power source. And people buy it, and quite much. This device generates high frequency that can turn on gas discharge lamps at a distance and cause some electronic devices become crazy. The circuit of the device is freely available on the internet. It is very simple. But there are pitfalls that a person can face if first meets it. There is a pair of coils. Both can be wound with the same wire, for example, 1 mm. The number of turns of the first coil is about 30, the second, 50 turns. The wire diameter from 0 0.7 to 1 mm. This time, no need to use a printed circuit board. By the way, about the boards, you can order a printed circuit board of any complexity and size from our regular sponsor, the company GLCPCB. The price for 10 pieces starts from $2. Ordering process is very simple. Go on the official website of the company and download the file for your board. Then select the options you need. The boards will be manufactured within 48 hours from the moment you order. By the way, Recently, we were in China and made videos about full production cycle of printed circuit boards at the GLC factory, as well as the production of stencils for the solder mask. These videos are already uploaded to the channel, and the links will be found in the description. We recommend to watch. To operate the circuit, you need a power supply with a voltage of 15 to 24 volts. For example, a pair of 9 volt batteries connected in series. Although the device can operate from a lower voltage, the effect will not be the same. A transistor is installed on the radiator. During operation, it will heat up. The transistor should be of medium power, with a cutoff frequency above 100 MHz. I use the high-frequency transistor 2SC3950, which can operate at frequencies up to 2 GHz and dissipate about 5 watts. It is desirable to choose a transistor with a collector current of 500 milliampers or more. The more is the better. The device is claimed as a generator of microwave radiation, but in fact it doesn't reach ultra-high frequencies. For many who try to repeat device, this circuit doesn't work. The whole secret is in the correct winding and phasing of the windings of the coils. So, in this video, everything will be shown very clearly. You can just sit back comfortably and watch.
That's all, my friends. The video came to an end. By the way, I finally opened my Instagram where I will upload photos taken during my trip to China. I hope you will be interested. A link to the Instagram can be found in the description. Well, I say goodbye. Until new meetings, with you was Kasian TV.